My name is Alan. Trail name, Ancient Center. It's a long story. I'd like to start by introducing you to my hiking buddy. Smokey, come. Go around. Down. Smokey, down. Folks, meet Smokey, the adventure dog. Now this guy is the ultimate hiking accessory. I don't have to carry him. Keeps me warm in a pinch, but most of all, he always puts a smile on my face. Now, we haven't got miles on us at uh, Trauma and Yoni have got, but we've racked up a few. And from the deserts and mountains of the southwest to section hiking on the Appalachian Trail, there's one thing I've learned. It's that a good set of well-fitting footwear is just as important for your canine companion as it is for you. Trust me on this one. In our first year of hiking, he punctured a pad on the west coast of Vancouver and then got a mystery cactus ding somewhere on his paw down in the deserts of New Mexico. It made me very glad that I had pet health insurance for him, which, by the way, is something I strongly recommend if you're going to be doing any serious hiking with your pet. Anyway, I started putting boots on him, and I haven't had that kind of a problem since. Now, if you don't think they aren't really necessary, just take a close look at these. Now, this is the kind of wear and tear that an active dog can put on his booties in just a few short weeks on the Appalachian Trail. Although they aren't completely whole through, you can see the wear has been pretty severe. Imagine where that wear would have gone if the dog had not been wearing these. If you got any doubts, just talk to the shuttle operators. They have lots of stories about hikers they've had to take off of the trail because their dog's feet were breaking down. Just as with people, one size does not fit all, and different feet require different solutions. Smokey's worn a variety of different booties since we've been hiking, some of them good, some of them not so good, but even ones that didn't work for him might be perfect for another dog. You just have to find what's right for yours. Today we'll be showing you the Ultra Paws booties, which at least for now seem to be Smokey's best all-around solution. Tip number one, for most dogs, the forepaws are a size larger than the hindpaws. Most quality booties will allow for that. If they don't, but the booties seem to be really good anyway, you can either get two sets of four, one in each size, and wind up with two mixed sets, or call the company, as I did, and ask for a mixed set. Now, Smokey's exceptionally hard to fit because he has all this really thick, soft fur covering his paws, and most booties will tend to move around on his feet. The ultra paws are actually shaped like a dog's foot, which helps. Not all booties are. They also have two Velcro straps, one high and one low for added fit and security. The bottom one cinches through a buckle, which enables you to get it nice and tight. And you do want to cinch down on that. The material is water resistant, 1000 denier nylon. And the pads are something called Reprotec, which is made out of recycled tires. Tip number two, some dogs like Smokey have a problem with dew claws, just being in the wrong place and getting hung up on their uh, booties and everything. We had this problem for a while and eventually Mrs. Ancient Center suggested socks. I kind of thought it was a dumb idea at first, you know, socks on dogs, but it did work. And once we get these things on with boots and socks, Smokey is ready to go. They look a little bit weird, but if your dog booties have a problem with your dog's dew claws, try an inexpensive uh, set of children's crew socks from Walmart or somewhere first before giving up on the booties. Yeah, it's important not to just put boots on a dog and take him hiking. Put them on him and then play with him. This is a good way to make sure that A, they fit right, and B, that your dog is used to them and isn't going to fight them on the trail. Now if I could just get him to put them on himself. 